Hello, I'm Stuart Bloor, and as I've said so many times this year, I'm on the canal perch fishing. My habits will change slightly, assuming other factors allow me, of course, such as work commitments and so on. My habits will change slightly now that we're well into winter, in the sense that I will be aiming to do afternoon sessions up to dark rather than morning sessions. The temperatures have dropped sharply. In fact, I came on to uh, Facebook just before I uh, set off, uh, checked my emails before I closed up for the day and uh, so many of my friends were saying that uh, because of the weather they were turning the fire up and uh, putting the feet in front of the uh, television and that's where they were going to spend the day. Well, I'm the opposite, I'm on the canal fishing. As they say, you have to be in it to win it and I'm definitely in it. The water temperature has dropped though sharply, it's 6.3 which when you consider, because that figure on its own is meaningless, but when you consider that just um, two weeks ago we were into double figures just, that shows how much the temperature has uh, plummeted in recent weeks. But I'm here and I'm hoping to catch me a perch, or two, or three or four. That sounds like a song we sing at the Wolves. If you're a Wolves fan, you'll know what I'm saying. But you have to be in it to win it, and I'm hoping to catch me a perch. Actually, one nice one will do. I'm ready to pack away now. The water temperature has dropped to 6.1, but the air temperature is, is falling sharply now. I've probably got another 10 minutes to go, and it's just above two degrees Celsius. So I think by the time I head back to the car, it will be pushing zero. In fact, the, uh, the first frost of the uh, winter is on the way tonight, predicted and it's obviously going to happen. Ironically, during the last uh, half an hour or so, which is towards the end of the session obviously, um, I've had a couple of uh, serious inquiries, one on each rod, but nothing developed. But I'm probably looking at a blank, but as they say, when the going gets tough, you know who gets going and I will be back. I'm determined to catch a perch this week in these adverse conditions and I'm sure I will. Back on the canal for se session two. Um, we had our frost really, really cold and the water temperature is obviously down even more. Although it's a mild day this side of the water, the water temperature is, uh, in fact, I've got it down there somewhere, 5.3 Celsius, that's what my thermometer is telling me. So that's a, a sharp drop on recent times. But I set up and just put the first rod out, setting it on the on the hanger, and it started to take off. And lo and behold, I've caught myself a little perch. It's in the net, in the water. Just going to get it out now for the camera. So, a lovely surprise. There it is, before the camera. <laughs> So, lovely surprise, as I say. Caught a fish, not a blanker. Not bad, is it, in conditions like this. This is a red campion that until recently was in full bloom, but the first frost has killed it off. As you can see, just about hanging on there, but it, it, it's dead now, so those leaves will, will soon go, and the, the flowers, of course, will drop off as well. They're just about hanging on but it's done very well. It normally only goes to the end of the summer and it's gone into December, which is, which is good going, isn't it really? But we're in the winter now, so what do you expect? to a fish, decent one. There's been a bit of a lull. 
and we're into early afternoon. I didn't arrive until quite late. Oh, it's a nice perch. Hopefully, I'll net this. It's a good perch. Beautiful fish, aren't they? Seen it turn in the water there. It's put up a great fight. Come on. Oh, nearly at the net. Oh, it's still going. There you go. I've landed it. Brilliant. That was fantastic. Great when it comes together, isn't it? The air temperature, as I said at the start of the session, is, is, is quite up. It's a, a mild day, no wind at all, no rain. In fact, a very, very pleasant day. But it's what's in the water that really counts. And it's still very cold, but it's up marginally to 5.5. And those tiny fractions of uh, an increase, the trend is upwards, can, can bring fish on. They're more susceptible to slight increases than we are as people. And that's obviously paid off. I've had a little bit of attention on the one rod and then I caught the, uh, the perch. So that's made my day and I'm a happy bunny. Definite inquiry on this rod. The tip's going and the line is pulling out a little bit. I think it will be time to strike in a moment. It's gone, uh, it's gone dead again. No, nothing. Didn't develop. But I've just put a fresh worm on. Um, casting out towards the far bank, but a little bit deeper water than normal because of the, uh, the water temperature. So I've got that out. Just tightening up now. And there we go. Let's see if I can catch one this time. Oh, the other missed fish. A little bit of activity has continued. And we're now into the last half an hour or so before dark. Into another fish. It's a perch. Not a massive one, but I'll need the net. In the net. Some more action. It's quite busy this afternoon. You can hear all the crows and jackdaws above me. Quite a few in flight. Dusk. They're off to roost somewhere. And hopefully the perch are stocking up on a afternoon feast although my rod tip's gone quiet again so maybe not this time but a great time today I'm ready to pack away now start to take down the non-essential things first chair and things like that and then of course leave the rods till last but twinkle with me today so I brought her along she's been enjoying digging in the uh, undergrowth behind as you've no doubt seen from the video look at the state of her she's so muddy <laughs> she's a little girl but she's like a tomboy really and she's enjoyed herself if she could speak she'd do a little speech now for the camera and say what a great time it's been but we've had a good time both of us and we twink had a good time and we're ready to go home now and uh, who knows might even get another fish if i do i'll be back if not i won't